Hello everybody, welcome back to a new video. My name is Albo1125 and today we are going to be having a look at how you can install Scriptook 5 and how you can install the trainer that uses Scriptook 5 as well. So this video is going to be part of a series called Learn GTA 5 Modding Albo's Way. If you haven't checked that out yet, make sure to do that right now. A link is going to be in the description below. And we're going to start off right where we left off in the previous episode. So if you haven't followed that, I recommend you check that out as well. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. So we are now on the Scriptook V download page. As we can see, uh, we have a few links up over here and a link to this download page is also going to be in the description below. So the link that we are going to uh, click is the download link right up over there. And we're going to click download and it should start the download in our browser automatically. So as we can see, we are now inside our download slash GTA 5 mods folder. And because we are now downloading a Scriptook uh, plugin, uh, namely Scriptook itself, we are going to create a new folder called script hook just like that so all script hook related things we are going to put inside the script hook folder uh, what we're going to do is we're going to go into this folder and we're going to save the script hook v download right up over into there we're going to click the save button and it's going to download and we can now open it with winrar or any other extraction program that you want to use um, we can close this and we can extract it to this folder using your extraction program so once that is all downloaded, we can now navigate into the download slash GTA 5 mods. Uh, we can go into the script hook folder. And as we can see, here is the extracted folder right up over there. So we've got a few things up over in here. We can uh, open the readme quickly just to see what that looks like. Um, got a few uh, things about script hook itself and that it can't be used in multiplayer. That is pretty important. And there is also a little bit of information about how you can install Scriptook V. So as you can see, we need to copy certain files into the game's main folder. I'm going to show you all of that right now. So we're just going to close this. We're going to go into the bin folder right up over there. And the files that we are going to want are scriptookv.dll and dinput8.dll. So we're going to copy these two files. You can do that by holding control and clicking the files. So hold control, click script V, hold control and click input 8dll Just like that, it'll copy them both together. Uh, you can then press control C on your keyboard or you can right click and select copy. And we are then going to go over into our Grand Theft Auto 5 folder. Just over here and then we can either press control V on our keyboard or we can right click and select place. And uh, there might already be files called dimper8.dll in your directory, make sure to always replace the files in the destination so you don't experience any issues. And there we go, we have the latest Scriptook V installed. So what Scriptook V is, is it is basically comparable to Rage Pluginook in certain terms. Uh, it allows plugins to be coded for it and it then loads the plugins inside the game. And these plugins have to be installed differently and also loaded differently as well. So what we're now going to do is we're going to install the very most popular trainer that I use myself in my videos and I'm going to show you exactly how you can download that and install that properly. It is for Scriptook, so let's go right over to the download page and look at how we can do that. So the trainer that we're going to install is Simple Trainer for GTA 5 and that is by Shark327, which he has done a very, very good job on. As you can see, we can see it in the screenshot. You might know this uh, screenshot from certain videos already. Um, regardless of that, I'm just going to quickly click the like button there, uh, and I'm going to click the download button, and it's going to download. So as you can see, the actual download is called trainerv.ra. Uh, it is also for script hook, as we could see from the download page. Um, so we're going to uh, save it inside of our script hook folder going to save it and it's going to download just like that we're going to open it with winrar and extract it right up down into our folder so we're going to go into the download by going into our gta5 mods downloads folder going into the script hook and then trainer v and there we are and what we now have is a readme folder which we can open and as you can see the readme basically consists of a lot of uh, information about what the trainer can actually do so I'm not going to go through all of this right now because it's not very relevant to the goal of this video. But if you want to know the exact features of the whole trainer, you can go and read through this. It does actually does not contain any installation steps. So we're going to have to uh, do that ourselves. Um, the things that we, got, we are going to need are the trainerv.asi file and the trainerv.ini file. Now, firstly, how we, can we obviously see that it is a script hook plugin? That is because we are now dealing with .asi files. Any files that end with .asi are 
pretty much always going to be for script hook v. So once you see .asi files, you know, okay, we are dealing with a script hook v plugin. Now, to install this trainer, we are going to select trainer v.asi. We're going to hold control and also select trainer v.ini as we did previously um, by holding control so you can select multiple files. And we're going to right click, select copy, or press control C on your keyboard. And script hook plugins always need to be installed right into our Grab the Auto 5 directory. So right into the root right over here. So it doesn't actually differ that much from what we've done previously. We just right click inside our Grand Theft Auto 5 directory right up over there. We can click paste or you can either do that or press Ctrl V on your keyboard. And as you can see, trainer v.ini and trainer v.asi are going to be installed right up into our uh, Grand Theft Auto 5 folder. So right now it has been installed successfully. You can load up into the game and you can start using it. I am going to go over a few uh, things that I highly recommend changing in the trainer v.ini to avoid conflicts with LSPDFR and Rage Plugin Hook. So what we can now do is we can open the trainer v.ini um, and as you can see we are presented with a very big ini file with a lot of key bindings. So the first thing that I recommend changing is the hide menu key and that by default is set to 115. Uh, however, that is going to conflict with Rage Plugin Hook because Rage Plugin Hook already uses the F4 key to open the console. Now we don't really need the hide menu key because you can easily just press backspace on your keyboard and it will also close the trainer menu uh, or you can press numpad 0 and it'll go back and also close the trainer menu as you can see here, that is the numpad 0 key. So uh, we can basically just disable this key because we don't really need it. Uh, I always set mine to zero just like that so we don't have to worry about that anymore. We already have keys to close the menu so we don't really need this one over there as well. Um, and another thing that we are going to change is we're going to scroll down quite a little bit. Um, here we have all of the available keys that we can use. So as you can see if you want to use a specific key up over here you need to look up its number. For instance, if we wanted to use the L key, um, that would be number 76, uh, and you would put 76 as a key up over here if you wanted to use the L key. So that is how you can change the key bindings as well. We are going to scroll down a little bit further into the rest of these settings, and what we're going to look for is the uh, disable key bindings option. Here we go, it's actually going to be called key bindings disable. So if you aren't able to find this, you can just press Ctrl F on your keyboard, and you can uh, type key bindings disabled just like that and it'll bring you right over to the setting you have to look for it yourself by scrolling. Um, I highly recommend setting this to 1 because if you don't you're going to get a lot of keys that conflict with Rage Plugin Hook. For instance the numpad keys uh, they are going to spawn people that want to kill you uh, they will basically spawn hostile peds as a shortcut from the trainer. So setting this key bindings disable setting to 1 disables all of that rubbish that we don't need in our police game. Uh, so you won't have to worry about anything to do with these key bindings except opening and closing and navigating through the trainer v menu. So those are the things I recommend changing. Uh, of course you can change all of the other settings you're liking as well. But these are two very essential changes that I recommend you always perform. And once we are done editing the INI file to our linking, we can close that and we can go back into our Grand Theft Auto V folder right up over here. And now we're going to have a look at how the trainer V is used in the game. And we're also going to look at how Script Hook V plugins are loaded. So Script Hook V plugins uh, are automatically loaded by Script Hook V once you go into the game. So you don't actually have to worry about it at all. It's automatically done. You don't have to change anything, any settings or anything like that. Um, so all we can do is we can quite simply just double click rageplugin.exe. Uh, it's going to probably say that we can find a few files that are blocked. Um, of course we're going to press yes because we don't want that to interfere with our game. Uh, and we're going to let that load for a minute and once we are in game I will cut over to you and we will look at how the trainer works. So as we can see we're now in the Rage Plugin loading screen, everything is loading uh, as we are used to. Loaded Plugin LSBD first response, of course the trainer V is not going to appear here because this has nothing to do with Rage Plugin Hook, it is a script hook V uh, plugin. So we're just going to launch into the game right now and we're going to walk out. And we don't actually have to launch anything or load anything, we don't have to type any commands. Script hook V does not have a console. 
um, the script is now running in the background already. So to open the trainer what you can do is you can press the F3 key unless you change it to something else but the default one that we left like that is F3. Uh, you can navigate through the menu by pressing uh, the keys on your numpad uh, unless you change them of course but for me it's going to be the numpad because I left them at default so numpad 2 scrolls down, numpad 8 scrolls up uh, and numpad 6 and 5 scroll through pages once you need to do so. We will look at that in a small moment. Um, if we want to go into a menu that we have selected we can press the numpad 5 key just like that and as you can see we now go into that menu. Um, we can scroll through all of these little vehicles uh, and I'm just going to say spawn vehicle by model name. I'm just going to type police because that is a vehicle that we have in our game. There we go it spawns the police car. Uh, and I still have the trainer V menu open. What I can now do is I can press 0, or numpad 0 rather, um, and it'll go back. And if I press numpad 0 again, it'll close the menu. Uh, alternatively, what you can do is you can, if we just go back to where we were, you can press the backspace key and it'll close the menu just like that without having to scroll all the way back to the beginning. And if you open it again, you'll be back at the main menu here as well. So just to show you how you can scroll through pages in the trainer, uh, a place where you need to do that I believe is going to be in the options menu. As you can see you have a lot of options up over here. Uh, we can scroll through the pages using the numpad 6 and 4 keys. As you can see we are now in options menu 2, options menu 1, options menu 2. So that is the way that you can actually scroll through pages and not many people know that so there are actually also going to be options on page number 2 uh, which not a lot of people know exists. So that is a pretty cool feature that you should definitely be using. Now as for what I typically do in my trainer, uh, I go over into the time menu, I set the time to what I want it to be, just like that, and then I select the freeze time menu so that it doesn't change. Uh, for instance, if I want to do a uh, afternoon patrol, I just set it to this time, and I set it to freeze time, so I keep my afternoon patrol just the way I want it to. And then say uh, I want it to be rainy, we can go up over into the weather menu, we can select rain just like that, and if we want the weather to stay like this, if we don't want GTA to change it anymore, we press 5 on the force weather uh, and then we can scroll through it by pressing numpads uh, 6 and 4, which is how we scroll through lists and pages. And as you can see, it'll actually force different kinds of weather just like that. So that will wrap up the Scriptic V installation and usage tutorial video. So to summarize, we have installed Scriptic V and we have installed the trainer. We have configured the trainer so it doesn't conflict with Rage Blungenuk and all of the police mods that we are going to be having installed. And I've also shown you how you can navigate through the trainer menu to select the options you want. If you did enjoy the video, please remember to hit the like button. And if you'd like to stay up to date with my future content, please consider subscribing as well. And if you haven't done so yet, make sure to check out the Learn GTA 5 modding Alba's Way playlist to learn a lot more tips and tricks and very useful tutorials on how you can mod your GTA the way I do it as well. And with that being said, everyone, thank you all very much for watching, and I will see you all in the next video.